Why is gems? I can't find blonde beer. I find light brown beer. Blonde. I mean, well, blonde. sure enough, you can't believe it is. Uh, it's like a tick on, on a on a sweat hog in the middle of the sun heat. I gotta say, Lord be praised. Well, let me tell you something. China is a town in Texas, and this is our tribute to Texas. Yeehaw! Absolutely. Dave, what beer we're reviewing we today? we got some Shiner Blonde. Shiner. If you're not familiar with Shiner, it's brewed in Shiner, Texas. Shiner Blonde is made, it made to debut as the original recipe, Cosmo Spokesels. I just don't know how to say that anymore. Than well, it's like saying it. Rettling, except uh, with the always different silent. The always silent. Right. Right? Hey, here, take this one. If I'm going to read, I don't want one of them to pour the beer all over. Okay, it says, it's one of those double entendre things on top there, Jim. Is it? It was umflaws. 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 That's umflaws. right. Umflaws. A golden lager that pays sincere tribute to its bohemian roots. Like to come to come out of the ground. More bohemian. Okay, well, it says here, for over a century. Yes, sir. We have been brewing this here bohemian style golden lager. Our, our small brewery here, here in Shiner, Texas, population 2070. Do that, as if you real quick. And for just as long, it's been a local favorite. Folks around here yeah. have always loved the blend of European and American hops that yeah. make the blonde slightly sweet with full flavor. Yeah. We hope you enjoy it as much as locals do. Well, that's all right. Prost. Prost. Yeah, I see up top. Is anything up there? I love how they have it a dark font on a dark blue background. He don't know what font means. He just pretending he knows what Local font means. Local love. The Shiner you'll be drinking here, Blonde, on tap well, at get a shiner. the gas stations. You can get beer on tap at gas stations in Texas. Gas stations? For real gas stations? And antique stores and love of... Of course, uh, the Spotsil Brewery. He just kept on saying that till he ran out of breath. Classic Blonde, the Bohemian style, golden lager, mm -hmm. as we like to call it in Texas, is Classic Blonde beer. Beer. The distinctive, flavorful, and southern, refreshing. That's right. Well, you know, we're from Texas. Now, Everything's I, bigger I in I Texas. Got a tick on the mule in the middle of the wintertime. It's got for cold out there. Right. Well, that just ain't as clever as a hey, bow weevil on a flower in the middle of a cotton field. Ooh, look at that Steiner. That's a very Steiner. He's showing me a picture of a Steiner it's as a we Steiner take the Shiner. Well, this one is Shiner Blind, in case you didn't get it. Uh -huh. And we're just going to be pouring this down. We've got a little bit of the last one. Sorry, folks. You did a little bit. Oh, Dave's getting real big head with his beer. In here. my head, I like to get ahead when I'm going ahead. Well, yes, can. sir. Yes, sir. I go. <laughs> I go. Well, you know, and you know back when you're in Texas, you like to get along with the little doggies. And the big doggies in the middle of the Well, you run with the doggies, and you run with the pack. Oh, you know what I, pretty, I sound pretty cool? I like running with those ostriches. Yes, when you're running with the ostriches, you gotta be running real fast, especially when you got one of those cheetahs. I'd like you ride on them too, like you ride on a horse. Well, you could do that. That's absolutely correct. There is no, there is no, no saddle though. You just gotta grab it. Now you all notice one thing here, and let it go. That this beer is a much lighter color than the last one. So well, you can't we did the black well. last time. You could not see through it. It was blacker than the mm -hmm. middle of winter in the middle of the plains of Texas during a full moon. Which is not that and dog. Middle of a tar room. pit. That's right. Are there tar pits in Texas? I forget. But the oil. The yeah, the oil, oil. Black gold. Texas. We got Texas though, because we don't think about. We think Dallas, like like you know, like the cowboys. Like on the Ponderosa. Yes. Even though that wasn't. That wasn't Texas. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Now, that, I, don't I don't believe that Ponderosa accurately portrayed uh, the Western uh, but spirit. But they had a horse. They did have horse and little too. But you know what? They never talked about being horny. I mean, you, you got a bunch of guys horny? with pa, pa on the Ponderosa. You ever said, hey, Joe, did you see that uh, nice fine filly over there? She had the biggest rack that just won't quit. But, but they never said nothing about but, that. But they never but talked they about did. their broads. But they did. They talked they about did. it all the time. Did they talk about Ellie Mae? And Clementine. And oh, my darling Clementine? And Clementine. She was all behind Clementine. Well, I haven't seen that she show in like 30 years. Zumbos. 
You know, and they call them that too, as I recall. They call them meat balloons. No, that's what we call them. <laughs> 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 yeah. Slap myself uh, on the side. I'll story. tell you what. I just want. I'm more pickled. I'm more tickled than a pig in the pig slop. Uh, he liked being slop. Yeah. I'm going to slop your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too much in slop. Hey, I hear y'all. All right, so let's do the sniffer test, son. It smells like my mama's uh, the dry yeah. table in the, in the middle of summertime, in the middle of something else on top of that. I'd say your train of thought just got re derailed there, son. Derailed like, 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 like the stuff on top of the trains. Yep. Yep, those, yep. There's those, uh, those cattle. Yep, on the train. Now, be you a McCoy? Or be you? I'd be a Hatfield. A Hatfield? Well, I'm always coy myself. Oh, goodness gracious. I had to step back, people. I didn't know he would like this. He was talking about the boys. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I never go for that funny stuff, except when I'm making a joke. <laughs> yeah, he's a joke already. That's right. Yeah. I'm a joker. I'm a stroker. I'm a midnight he, broker. He's dope. In other words, you can call me up with you. I'll buy you 50 shares of Texas oil. Texas tea? Texas Black gold. Texas tea. Now, get away from there. They said California was the place you ought to be, but we loaded up the truck and we moved to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Anyway, let's anyway. get this sucker test. This is a beer review. Let's start reviewing, son. Yes. Proust. Proust. Mmm, very smooth. Not especially flavorful, but I, well, do you think this would go good with uh, food-wise there, son? What are we eating soon? We eating chicken? Chicken. Chicken. Think it goes good with chicken? chicken. All right, this goes good I with chicken. I think it's good with chicken. Absolutely. All right. All right. Uh, scale of one to ten. I, well, hey, I like that. It's not, you know, it's very light. It's not bad on the aftertaste. It's not bad going down. I think it's, it's got plenty of flavor. I give it a 7.9. The reason why I gave it 7.9 is because I still like the little beer from before it being Well, I think this is better than a dark beer, so I'm going to give this an 8.5. You can go ahead and do that all you want. Not especially flavorful, but they and that is some smooth beer. I can see why this is a local favorite over there in China. 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 When they have them Saturday, Saturday Friday night, Friday night nights. Friday they're Friday night nights. Night. Matter of fact, they're so crazy they have a night every night of the week. Every night? Every night. Every night of the week. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh, goodness. That came out that more like a tick on a gumbo. Why are you, why are you stuck on ticks? That's what I want. <laughs> I don't know. know. I was going to say, that came out nose. louder than a thunderbolt on the Ponderosa. Yeah. All right, it wasn't that loud, but it was. How about this? That came out like the uh, belch of a steer after it's been grazed on the ground. You prep. say, what, well, you steer queer? Because we already got ourselves some steers down here. Not there's anything wrong with steers. No. Just don't get behind them. Hey, oh, oh, hey. All right, there, son. I think that's about good enough for a beer review because, quite frankly, we don't write a lot of material before we start doing this. We're just all winging it. Well, you must took off my hat. Well, it's better than taking off your head, son. I like my Although, hat. Although, uh, I think the conversation will be about the same either way. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we love the folks down in Texas, and if you're from oh, Texas and you don't. see this and you're all offended, talk to Dave. Don't His don't. idea. <laughs> Yeah, talk to him at, at jimrett at verizon.com. <laughs> or net. <laughs> Wrong. All right. Y'all take care now. This has been uh, Jim and Dave Beer Review of Shiny Blondie. Is it Blonde or Blondie? Blondie. It's got an E on the end, but maybe that's Blondie. the German spelling. I don't know. That must be where they get one. Well, you know, we don't have a whole lot of that fancy northeast schooling down here in Texas. Schooling? We've been keeping it real. Schooling? 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 Like a fish. Like a fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>